Hi guys and welcome to another video. So this video is carrying on into do with backing up your PC. This time we're going to be backing up Mac OS using Time Machine directly to your Unraid server. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. So before we start, I guess I better say what Time Machine is. And as you can see from the title of this video, it's about backing up to Mac OS, and Time Machine is some pretty cool software, whilst maybe not as cool as Doc Brown's Time Machine, but pretty good anyway. <laughs> Apple's Time Machine is built into all Mac OS systems, and allows you to easily back up programs and files, which allows you to not only restore the whole of the system in the event of a disaster, but also just recover those couple of files you deleted a few weeks ago, which you wish you hadn't. Now, if you're a little bit lazy like me, and you're using Time Machine, you probably can't be bothered to plug an external hard drive into your computer each time you need to do a backup. But hey, we can actually do a Time Machine backup over the network, and so the perfect place to do this to is our Unraid server. Then that means we just don't need to think about anything. It will automatically back up whenever we're on our network. How cool is that? So let's jump across onto the Unraid server and get a Time Machine share all set up. Now you'll see here that I'm running Unraid 6.10. So to follow along with this video, make sure you're also using 6.10 or a newer version of Unraid. So the first thing we want to do is go across to Users here, then Add a User so Time Machine can connect to the share we're going to make. So we could just make up a random name such as Laptop and pop in a password. Then click the Add button. But personally, I prefer to make a user with a username that I use on my Mac and the same password. So now we could use any of these two users from our Mac OS's Time Machine to connect to the share. OK, so before we set up the Time Machine share, let's just do one thing. Now, if you've never set up a Time Machine share on Unraid before, well, you can ignore this next step. But if you have set up Time Machine on Unraid previously, then we just want to go across to the Settings tab and under Network Services, click on SMB. Now on some previous versions of Unraid, when we set up a Time Machine backup, we would put some extras in the SMB configuration file here. However, in Unraid 6.10, this is no longer necessary. So if in the past, for a Time Machine share, you've added extras to this SMB configuration file, then please remove them. Anything else that may be here is absolutely fine. What you can see here is what the unassigned devices plugin puts in, and that's fine for that to be there, don't remove that. So only remove anything that you yourself have manually put in for a previous Time Machine share. If you haven't, skip this bit, you don't need to worry about it. So with that check before creating the share, let's go back to the main tab, and I recommend putting the Time Machine share just on one disk. So have a look at the amount of space you've got, on the various drives in your array. I'm going to use this disk 3 here because I've got plenty of space with 13 terabytes being free. OK, so I've chosen the disk I'm going to put the share on. So now let's go ahead and create the share. So obviously, let's click onto the Shares tab here. And I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom and click on to Add Share. Now we can call the share whatever we want. I'm just going to call it TM for Time Machine. So for this share, you don't want to have it cache enabled. So just leave Use Cache Pool for New Files, leave that set to No. And now I'm going to go down to here where it says Included Disks, and this is where I'm going to select my Disk 3. With that done, I'm going to click Add Share. And with the share created now, if we scroll down, we've now got this section, SMB Security Settings. So we want to export the share, so click here, and we want to choose the option Yes, forward slash Time Machine. So here's where we set the maximum size that the Time Machine volume can take up. Now make a note here that this is set in megabytes. So I suggest what you do is go across to Google and just type GB to MB and then choose a size for your Time Machine share. Now obviously it should be bigger than what the used space on your Mac hard drive is. For me, I'm going to choose 500 gigs here, which is 500,000 megabytes. So let's go back to Unraid. And in here, I'm going to pop in 500,000 megs. OK, for now, I'm going to leave the security as public. But obviously, if you wanted to, you can make this share secure. And to save those changes, we just click Apply. OK, so on RAID side, that's all we need to do. 
And just to note, you can see the size hasn't gone up at all on this actual disk. That's because when we set the size of the Time Machine share, that's the maximum size and it only fills up as the backups go into it. Okay, so with everything set up on RAID end, let's go across onto Mac OS and connect to this Time Machine share. So now let's go up to the top toolbar here and click onto Finder and then Preferences. And under General here, we want to check Connected Servers. And also on Sidebar, let's do the same here as well. Okay, so now we need to browse our network to the Time Machine share. So in the bottom left hand corner, let's click onto the Finder icon. And then on the left sidebar here, we want to scroll down and select our server. Mine here is called Prime. Now we'll see a list of shares on the Unraid server. And here's my time machine here, the one I called TM. So I'm going to double click that and then we can see it's mounted now on the desktop here. So we can close Finder. And so now we need to open Time Machine. And we can do that from in the settings, clicking onto the Time Machine icon here. Now here we want to click on Select Backup Disk. And we can see the mounted share TM here. So I'm going to click onto that and click Use Disk. So now Time Machine will connect to that network location. And now it's going to ask me to log in. Now, I don't want to log in as a guest. That's why we set up the users earlier. And because I added my username and password to Unraid, I can use that here and use that to connect. But wait, before I click connect, I'm going to go across here and right click this share and then eject it. Once it's ejected, I'm going to click on to connect. OK, so now Mac OS is connected to the Time Machine share. There's no backups that have been done. And the next backup here, it says it's going to be in 111 seconds from now. And I guess because we're talking about a time machine and we don't want to mess up the space time continuum, we better speak to Doc Brown. Oh, and look now, it's only 88 seconds to the next backup. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Nothing yet, Doc. Hit it again. Still nothing, Doc. Now, I'm sure I've set this up on Unraid correctly. OK, no, don't just keep hitting the switch. Let's not do 88. Let's try when it's on zero. OK, we're on zero now. Hit it again. Yep, looks like it's working now. Something's happening. It says it's preparing backup. Wow, it's already done. It's almost like we fast forwarded that into the future. You were right, Doc. I always knew it was going to work. OK, so if you look here now, it says there's 175 gigabytes available left on the Time Machine share. And if we quickly go back across to Unraid, go to Shares and look at the Time Machine share here. And we can see here a folder that Time Machine's created, which has the name of my Mac OS machine. And yes, the space it's taking up is just under 325 gigs, in fact, 323 gigs, leaving 175 left. And future backups will be much smaller because they'll just be incremental of what's changed. Now, the version of Mac OS I'm using here that I've just set up is Big Sur version 11.1. .1. But of course, this works fine on the latest version of Monterey as well. So let's quickly look at that. I'm not going to go in much detail, I'm just going to skip through it quickly. OK, so you can see here that the Time Machine share is mounted here. And I'm going to open the Time Machine Preferences, select the backup disk, choose that share. And there we are, the backup starting. And there we are, the backup's now finished. So let's close Time Machine and go to Finder, back over to the server. And I'm going to open up the Time Machine share here. And now you can see there's two separate backups here, one from Ed's iMac Pro and the other one just from iMac Pro. So yes, we can have multiple Time Machine backups in one Time Machine share. But when you do that, just remember, make sure it's big enough. And also, if you don't want other people with access to that share on other Macs to be able to browse the backups, then make sure to encrypt your Time Machine backups. OK, so now let's just finish off with a couple of tips and then a bit of troubleshooting. OK, so back on the Unraid server, go to Shares and let's have a look at our Time Machine share again. Now scroll down and under Security, change that to Private and click Apply. Scroll down again and just give the user which Time Machine uses to connect, give that read write access. And also, which I think is quite a good idea, now under Export, click here and instead of having Yes Time Machine, have Yes Time Machine hidden 
and then the share won't show up when computers browse the network. Okay, so now let's move on to some troubleshooting. Okay, so here I am on another Mac OS machine, which is also running Monterey. And this is also having a Time Machine backup to another Unraid server. This was set up about six months ago and has been backing up every day. We can see the last backup was yesterday at 2051. And just to show it's all working, let's go into Time Machine and like, just browse through some files. Okay, it's all working fine. So you might well rightly be thinking, why am I showing you all of this? Well, if we open a web browser and go to the Unraid server where these backups are going to, if we look at the version of Unraid that's running on this server, it's 6.9.2. So obviously older than 6.10. And if we go to shares here, we can see the Time Machine share here. And if we look inside, we can see the folder Anne's MacBook Pro, which contains all of the Time Machine backup for that machine. And if we look at how the share is made up, it's on disk two here, and it's exported as a Time Machine share here. You'll notice there's no actual size limit on this, because actually that's somewhere else in the SMB extras file. So let's take a look at that now. Now, as I said earlier, Unraid 6.9, we had to put extra things into the SMB configuration file to get Time Machine to work. In 6.10, like I said, that isn't necessary anymore. So let's see what can happen when we upgrade from Unraid 6.9 with a Time Machine share set up differently to 6.10. Will it still keep working? Okay, so the server's now upgraded to Unraid 6.10. Let's go across to Mac OS and see if Time Machine's working. So let's see if we can manually kick off a backup by clicking Backup Now. It always says Preparing Backup, but that's as far as it ever gets. It just comes back and you can click back up now and it just goes round in that cycle. So Time Machine's not working correctly. So there's a couple of things we can do to fix this. The first is to remove the extra things in the SMB configuration file and to make changes to that the array must be stopped. And I'm going to remove all of the extras that are there into doing the Time Machine share from 6.9. And so with that done, you can restart the server, start up the array, and also restart your Mac OS machine, and hopefully Time Machine will continue. Now, that didn't work for me. Again, whenever I tried to do a Time Machine backup, it just said preparing a backup, and didn't get any further than that, and just went around in circles. So if also that doesn't work for you, the more nuclear option is going to be what you need to do. So open the Time Machine preferences, Go to select disk, then click the Time Machine share here, and then click on Remove Disk. And this will remove the Time Machine location from Mac OS. And after doing this, you'll need to go back to your Unraid server, remove the old Time Machine share, and then create a new one, just like we did in the beginning of this video. And then once you add that to Mac OS, your Time Machine share will work. Anyway guys, well, I guess that brings us to the end of this video. Now, I really hope you found this useful and you enjoyed watching it. If you did, then please hit the like button and share the video with anyone else who you think might find it useful. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, hey, please subscribe. Now to everyone out there, all of my patrons and supporters, thank you guys, thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. And if you feel like you'd like to join these great bunch of people and help support the channel, then please find the links in the description below. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good, and I'll catch you in the next video.